Hello to the people of this cruel world. What's going on? In this video, we will learn how to recognize handwritten digits with the help of something called machine learning in Python in just fewer lines of code. Now, if you don't know about machine learning, let me tell you something about machine learning. Machine learning is a way for the machines to learn something from the training data set. So we will be providing the training data set. In this case, this handwritten digits data set is the training data set so that in future it can predict the new data. So if you don't know about machine learning, you need not to worry about anything because we will not implement everything from scratch. We will be using a very famous machine learning library written in Python that is called scikit-learn. So you can go to the scikit-learn docs and read how you can install that package in your Python. So, and then you should download this data set which contains the sample images and the tra training. So you can go to this website. The link is, will be given in the description of this video and you can click on this train and then you can download this training data set. So I have, I have already downloaded this, so I won't have to download this again. Now let's get started. All right. So I created this Python script and I'm super excited. So let's do this. The first thing I would like to do is I'm going to import some of the libraries like numpy as np then import uh, matplotlib.pyplot as pt this is used for plotting the image then i'm going to import pandas as pd pandas is used to load the data training data set and then from sk learn dot tree i'm going to import uh, this decision tree classifier this is the machine learning model we will read the data set using pandas and then then we will give that data to this uh, machine learning model for the training purpose so let's try to import this data set using uh, pd dot read c uh, csv yes then uh, i downloaded this data set into my data sets directory then the uh, file name is train dot csv now let's try to print this data okay so you can see it has printed the entire data set which contains 42,000 row and 785 columns. So if you can observe among this uh, this 785 column, the first column is the label or the name of the digit and this remaining 784 value is uh, the intensity of each of the pixels of 28 cross 28 machine uh, um, images. So they used to train this mod, uh, this, they created this data set using many of the samples of 28 cross 28 image and they, they have put uh, this uh, intensity value in each of these pixels. All right, let's try to clean this data set and let's try to split this data set for the training and uh, for testing purpose. And at, at last we will be checking the accuracy. Now, this has given me a pandas data frame object, but I would like to convert this into two dimensional numpy array using this as matrix. And if you don't know about numpy, matplotlib or pandas, you can go ahead and watch my previous video while I discuss about all of this. And the link will is given in the description of this video. Now, I need to split this data set into two portions, one for the training, another one for the uh, uh, prediction so it contains 42,000 rows so I will be using first uh, 21,000 record for the training and, and the remaining for the testing so before that let's create an empty classifier using this decision tree classifier so this would create an object of this decision tree model and initially it's empty we need to give some training data set in order to give the training data set it takes uh, two, two lists one is the list of feature and corresponding levels. So list of feature in this case will be the intensity value of each pixel and uh, their corresponding level will be nothing but the digit. So let's try to take this, let's name it as x train. x train will be data. I want to take the first 21,000 row starting from index 0, then I would take 21,000 row here and then I should uh, I should take enter everything except the first column. So index of the first column is zero. So I should start taking the column from one to remaining portion. That was it. Then their corresponding level, let's say this is train level. This is equals to data. Then starting from zero to 21,000 element, I should take only the zero with column because it contains the level. So let's train this classifier using this uh, fit method. So it takes the, uh, the list of features and corresponding level which is uh, train level in this case all right that was it now 
let's comment this out training data set and I would like to create a, a subset uh, for the testing data so let's say that uh, x test is equals to uh, I would take data starting from 21,000 index to the remaining and then I would like to take uh, the first column on only then actual level this actual level would be used for checking the accuracy after after uh, actually uh, predicting something uh, after getting the prediction from the machine learning model so it would be very much helpful on that situation now I would like to take uh, starting from 21,000 index I would take every row and then I just need the zero with column that's it now let's try to uh, take a sample from this uh, test data set let's say that d is equals to x test then i would like to take a random let's say the fifth element let's say the okay eighth element then i would like to plot this uh, i would like to show how how it looks like in order to do that i should reshape this into 28 cos 28 because initial now it's a row vector so i need to convert that into 28 co cross 28 matrix then using this pd that is the object of mat pi plot th uh, then i can write i am show then then i can write this v then c map is gray i i would like to show everything in gray let's subtract 255 from here because if i plot this directly it will it will give me uh, black background and white color but i want uh, white background then black color so for that i i will be using this uh, i will be subtracting this value from 255 let's try to execute this code okay it looks like three now let's try to play with this uh, learning model it's ready for the prediction uh, let's write uh, something uh, like print clf dot predict if i pass uh, this uh, d okay i cannot pass dd because it takes a single row vector so it will be x test and zero i need to just give the features and then it will give me a level for that uh, feature and I need to encapsulate this inside a list and let's try to see how what it predicts so it has predicted six but it's a it, it's actually looking like six also let's test with another data L instead of this uh, eight I would like to take five okay there was a mistake I should give eight over here because I am taking the ninth sample from this uh, test data set if i execute this let's see what happens now it's predicted three awesome so it's time to measure the accuracy for that i will be giving this entire test data set in this predict function and then i would compare that with this actual level let's try to do this that's gonna be kind of fun so instead of everything, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make, uh, let's delete all of these things. I would like to write, let's say P is a prediction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this uh, CLF dot predict, then this entire test data. That will give us a list of prediction, list of levels for each of the data. Then I would like to compare the accuracy. How do I do that? If I compare each value with, with every other value, then I will get the count of the matched value then I can compute the percentage of accuracy so let's say C count is equals to 0 then I would like to run a loop for I in range 0 comma 21,000 then I'm gonna do something like uh, count plus is equals to 1 if 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 P I matches with corresponding actual level otherwise I would add zero so let's try to print accuracy over there accuracy is equals to okay accuracy we should compute that in uh, percentage so that would be uh, count divided by 
the size of this actual uh, number of features actual data so which is 21,000 then I should multiply that by 100 so let's try to run this code okay by mistake I multiplied that by 1000 it should be 100 let's try to predict this again well we got an accuracy of, of uh, 83% which is quite good but uh, you can play around with this classifier there are many classifiers like uh, k nearest neighbor uh, random forest uh, uh, and so on so you can uh, search on the internet and you can see how many classifiers are there you could try and use different classifier and see the accuracy so that's it if you liked my video please subscribe